हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द हारमोन्स ऑफ प्लासेंटा द फर्स्ट इज एच सी जी दैट इज ह्यूमन कोरियोनिक गोनाइड्रोपिन इट इज बेसिकली अ ग्लाइको प्रोटीन एंड इट कंटेन्स गलेक्टोज एंड हेक्सोजामिन एलॉन्ग विथ प्रोटीन सो इट इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ग्लाइको प्रोटीन गलेक्टोज एंड हेक्सोजामिन द सेकेंड इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अबाउट दिस इज दैट इट इज प्रोड्यूस बाई सिंसाइट्रियो ट्रोपोब्लास्ट दैट इज द आउटर लेयर ऑफ द ट्रोपोब्लास्ट बिकॉज ट्रोपोब्लास्ट वॉज डिफ्रेंसिएटेड इंटू टू लेयर सिंसाइटियोटोप्लास्ट एंड साइटोटोप्लास्ट सो सिंसाइटियोटोप्लास्ट विल प्रोड्यूस एच सी जी स्ट्रक्चरली इट इज क्वाइट सिमिलर टू एल एच एंड हैज़ एन अल्फा सब यूनिट बिकॉज इट इज फॉर्म बाई टू सब यूनिट अल्फा एंड बीटा एंड द अल्फा सब यूनिट इज आइडेंटिकल टू एल एच टी एस एच एंड एफ एस एच एंड स्ट्रक्चरली इट इज वेरी सिमिलर टू एल एच now coming to its measurement it can be measured by radio immunoassay as we have read in biochemistry and detected in blood as early as 6 days after conception okay 6 days its presence in urine is in early pregnancy is the basis of various lab tests for pregnancy and we usually perform various lab tests for pregnancy checking pregnancy and the theme the basic principle of all those lab tests is lying in hcg okay and we check uh, generally hcg amount in urine now coming to functions it helps to maintain corpus luteum for around 10 to 10 week because after 10 week the role of secreting estrogen and progesterone is taken over by placenta so until and unless placenta is formed corpus luteum is secreting est- estrogen and progesterone and the corpus luteum is maintained by hcg hcg because of a structural similarity to tsh as we have discussed hcg has similar structural similarity to tsh lh so a structural similarity to tsh because of this it stimulates thyroid gland of mother to secrete thyro- thyroxine okay because thyroxine is required in high amount for myelination in fetus the third function it it also stimulate dihydroepiandrosterone sulfates production by fetus as we have discussed in fetal placental unit and the fourth function is it also increases production of relaxin the again revising four functions and the first one was maintaining of the corpus luteum the second one was due to the extra- structural similarity with tsh it stimulates thyroid gland the third one is it stimulates dihydroepiandrosterone sulfates production by fetus as we have discussed in fetoplacental unit and the fourth one is increased production of relaxin then some important points about scg hcg level falls at around 10th week because uh, at, at around 10th week placenta will be formed and there will be no requirement of corpus luteum by that time the placenta is capable of secreting estrogen and progesterone as we have discussed and corpus luteum is not required for that time as we have discussed earlier one more important point about hcg is that of morning sickness some scientists believe that morning sickness in pregnant female is due to the action of hcg what is morning sickness it is vomiting and nausea in early pregnancy in pregnant female and the basic mechanism behind this is that uh, hcg has direct effect on chemo receptor trigger zone which is basically responsible for vomiting okay this region is responsible for vomiting because this region is outside the blood brain barrier thanks